Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here bringing you another Monkey Ball uh, custom levels tutorial Begin in Wings. Uh, we're going to learn how to UV map or texture objects and make them look nice, hopefully. That's the idea anyway. Uh, we'll start off with something simple. We'll have a, uh, well, let's just take this cube here and we'll make it, uh, we'll make it just like a little bit, uh, I can extrude it here on the normal. We'll make it uh, just like, you know, like a walkway, so to speak, right? Okay, so you have your walkway, and what we're gonna do is select our object and right click, and you wanna scroll down to UV mapping right there, and that brings you to this window. Uh, so if you want to, if you want this whole thing to be like, you know, one side, so to speak, and you don't wanna cut it off you know right there then don't select that so what you would want to do is like take this select all of it convert it to that and then do help okay I was confused for a second there we go all right so now that you have that you would go right click and mark edges for cut and then go to continue unfolding and that brings you to this screen right here which, as you can see, this is like the wings default texture, which is, uh, well, we don't want that. <laughs> we, we don't want that. So what you'll do is open your outliner so you can see the materials being used over here. Uh, we want to go to file and then import image. And we want to go to our folder, which I just have under here and then textures. And then this is some of the saved textures I have from uh, the monkey ball games and from a texture dump so uh, you can you can dump these textures yourself uh, or I have some links to the like I guess important textures that you want um, as well to a Dropbox uh, I guess I have a link to a Dropbox <laughs> with those textures so if you want them I'll put them in the uh, description you can grab those textures but uh, let's for uh, for the sake of this video let's use the uh, the storm texture for this one so we'll open up this texture and we open up our UV map panel. We click that and drag it on over. And now a lot of people will just leave textures like like kind of like this. They don't they don't scale it, they don't adjust, you know, adjust it or move it or anything like that. And it looks really uh well when you import it in the game, it looks really bad. So we're gonna not do that. So hello. Okay, so we're gonna select our object again. We're gonna right click. We're gonna go to scale and uniform. We're gonna hold shift, and we're gonna go to like let's go to like 1500 here. And now, when we deselect it, we have this nice walkway pattern. Look at that. See, that's really nice. It's a kind. It's kind of like hanging off a little bit on the edge over there on the right side. And if you really wanted to be, you know, like super picky, you could say, okay, we're gonna select that, and then you know, move move uh, horizontal like move it like one degree like that or just mess around with it in general uh, and you can move it around to make sure that the texture goes where you want it to go and then if you uh, also if you need it to like match up over here then you can instead of marking these edges for cut you don't mark those and then <laughs> it's like one big area that wraps around uh, which if we can we'll go back here we can kind of see what that would look like. So again, we go to UV mapping, and what we'd want to do is, instead of like cutting these, we would just do like, uh, actually, you probably would have to. We want to do like that, like that. Actually, I don't know, you could probably do something like this. And then... Okay, yeah, I think that might do it. Let's find out. Let's find out if I was right. Yeah, 
Yay, so that wraps it. Okay, so what we did right there is we were able to wrap it around the top here and the sides so that it looks uniform. Uh, and it also happened to wrap well on the bottom until that point right there and then it doesn't look good. But um, that's kind of just a basic like how to UV map a, a walkway or just a basic object. So now if we want to say, okay, we have our walkway, but we want different sides, right? We want the sides uh, here to be a different material. What we'll do is we will create a new cube and lock our first cube and then select it and just get it somewhere different, like right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do then is we'll just UV map this and it doesn't matter what's selected because we're only going to be using this as a placeholder to hold our texture. So it, uh, whoop, whoops. Okay, there we go. We're going to use this as a placeholder for our texture. So say we want our sides, let's go to import image and then back to our texture file. Actually, yeah, let's see that. We'll, we'll use something from here. Say we want our sides to be, hmm. Let's find out. Let's find a good texture for this. Let's say we want it to be not wood. Uh, I like that. Let's use this wood. All right. So say we want our sides to be this wood grain here. So we're going to drag that over and then um, it doesn't really matter about the scale because it's just the material that we need. So that doesn't matter. That cube's really ugly. But as you can see, now we have like cube two AUV. So what we're gonna do is unlock our first cube so I can edit this and then select these two or like, you know, that side and that side. Right click material and then cube two AUV right there. So now the side has, has wood. And then if we want to go so far as to scale that to make it look you know, a little bit better. We can then go back into UV mapping. And then... Actually, hold on. Hello? Okay, there we go. So, say we want to change this. Now we can just scale uniform and we can you know, bring it down a bit so that it's, you know, you see the wood grain a little bit more like that, um, which looks pretty nice. Doesn't really match, like, you know, that floor kind of needs some stone work, but just kind of a demonstration of how you can uh, UV map like the sides of things like that and how it scales and actually like looks, uh, you know, nice and all. Uh, you can also, No, I, I, I guess that's basically it. Um, it's not hard to make things look at least somewhat decently textured. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of, not a lot of the levels, but some of the levels I've seen uh, could definitely use with some uh, basic tips on scaling textures and stuff like that. So that's how to scale textures, how to texture a basic walkway, uh, how to change the uh, texture of different parts of the same object so uh, I hope that helped and see when, what you can do also really quick before I end is once you've used this as a placeholder you just delete that but the cube 2 AUV stays there so that material will stay there and you can just select that uh, to texture anything that texture and to make more uh, like I guess materials to use you would just create a square texture it delete it and then you can select that material anytime so yeah, I hope that helped uh, texturing simple objects. Uh, it's pretty fun, you know, and it can lead to a lot of really cool results. Uh, I'll actually show you one of said really cool results really quick. So let's take a look at that. So here is one of my one of my levels that I made uh, called Peel Out. I know it, it's. Uh, its name, codename was Wall Ride, but it's called Peel Out. And as you can see here, 
uh, has different side textures, has the signs, which are an image plane, um, has this really cool looking uh, like object here that has this uh, the metal the metalwork texture around it, and as you can see, it, it was it was a lot of work to do this, but it was really nice. Also, the the buy sign that's really fun, and then the uh, the skybox here as well. Um, skyboxes are just like a half, or I guess like a I guess a big big circle cut in half, and then textured. Uh, the more smooth you want it, the or like the more smooth looking you want it, the more faces the circle has to have. So because skyboxes are currently, we don't know how to call them from the background folder, we actually have to build them as objects, which then uh, takes away from being able to put a ton of objects in the level if you make a skybox that's like really, really detailed, which kind of sucks. But yeah, that's what, uh, this is what, you know, texturing uh, different sides can look like, you know, like the outside of the spiral. I uh, hope that helped. And if it did, feel free to leave the video a like and I will uh, see you guys for another tutorial.